welcome back to Beijing in Japan. Hey guys, so this video includes my quarantine experience, a room tour, and my first time on the Japanese bullet train. So, I hope you enjoy. And today I'm gonna be kind of dishing some tea. It ain't really that hot, but like, I, I would dish a bit because on the whole, because the yeah, experience was really good though, I must say. Um, they just had a few things that were a little questionable. So firstly, the room. The room was amazing. The bed was the biggest bed that I ever slept on. I think it was probably a king-size bed, honestly. Uh, the view, amazing. View of like the tall buildings. Oh, at night, the lights came on. It was awesome. Wonderful. The bathroom, lovely. It came with a toilet that had all the Japanese things on it, all the, the heated seat, the bidet, the spray. In general, the room is, is really nice. Oh, there's a TV. There is, you can adjust the heat. So when it gets really cold, because I can tell y'all here is like three degrees Celsius. So like, I really had to sometimes like put that heat up because I was freezing. So yeah. And in terms of housekeeping, they're actually really efficient. So they come like every, I think is two days and they just come at your door about like 10 o'clock and they're like housekeeping. Do, 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 do. And then, if you're sleeping, you better run and get up, because <laughs> I got not until you answer. Uh, but they're very, very nice. They come in, they're very professional. When, when they come in, you just put on your mask and let them do their thing. They clean the bathroom very well and very fast, and they change the sheets. And they give you water, and they, they sort you out, and they ask you if you need anything else. Very, very, very efficient. Oh, okay. So, in terms of meals, uh, that, that is something that was... Um, hold a second, let me get a sip of water. So, the meals were good. I mean... Typical Japanese food, a lot of white rice, the protein, a lot of different salads. I'll try to pop some up here so that you can see all the different things they had. We had a wide variety. There was definitely chicken, pork, fish. Um, they had like these very weird, I remember there was this weird fish gelatin thing that was very disgusting. Just saying, it was very disgusting. Um, but they feed you very balanced. It's a very balanced meal. It has like veg, it has a lot of colors. It has like everything that you would need. And we also got fed three times a day. So breakfast, lunch, and dinner on point. Like. It never faltered, it was never late, it was always on point. Um, there was one point at first that we did not recognize that it was a microwave, so we were eating the, the food cold, and that was one of my ranted points, but I mean, arguably, I think that that's our fault. <laughs> so, yeah. But, even so, the food, the, food was, the food was pretty decent. I can't complain, honestly, it was. Oh, so I happen to actually have an allergic reaction to something, because I am actually allergic to all shellfish. So anything like shrimp, crab, lobster, anything with a shell, swells me up. So, I realized there was shrimp in something. Um... But, oh, and I did take it out. But the thing is, my allergy is so bad that if it even touches anything around it and I ate the other things around it, I react. So it wasn't a horrible reaction. It was just like my lips swole up and I had a rash and my lips were cracking and it was it was painful. Yeah, it really was. But I have like a million histotablets because I predicted that that will happen because I have really bad allergies. So I was like, you know what? Let me walk with a million histotablets. So that was fine. It was gone down in like three days. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, and... Another thing about this quarantine is that we had to take COVID tests like every three days or something like that. No, I think we only had to do two whilst we were here. Um, but I feel like in getting to Japan in general, we had to do like 10 million. But they weren't that bad because they were just like swabs of saliva from your cheek. And yeah, so it wasn't, it wasn't bad at all. This period served as an orientation session um, for the program. So every day we would have um, things to do online. We would have Zoom calls and stuff like that. So, so that kind of kept us, you know, occupied. It did. And, you know, I feel like I'm, I love to just lounge and relax. Like, who doesn't like to just lounge and relax? So, I mean, we did that for two weeks in a really nice hotel, so can't really complain, can you? So, if I had to rate my experience on a whole, my quarantine experience, I would say it was a 9 out of 10, actually. It was a really, really good experience. Um, just very, very few things. Um, but the Japanese are very efficient. They're very on point. If you call and you need anything, like at one point you needed an iron and they came up and they gave me like one minute. Anything that you need, it's there. They will tell you how to do it or how to get it. So, I'm very, very, very impressed, I must say. So, yeah, my quarantine experience was a really great one, and I'm looking forward to all my other experiences outside of quarantine, and we will see if they are as good or not so good as this experience, but for sure, this was a good start.
I hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for what I have coming next. Bye guys.